Hello and good morning to all the children who are viewing this video this morning. My name is Minister Christian and I'm the youth minister of Mount Moriah Baptist Church and I thank you so much for joining us in our children's church worship this morning. Wherever you are, I ask right now that you join us in a word of prayer as we go before the throne of God. Let us pray. God, we thank you for today. We thank you for another Sunday. We thank you for waking us up, God, and giving us strength. Heavenly Father, I ask right now that you are with all the children, the guardians, the parents, the grandparents, the friends and family members who are viewing this video. May you teach us how to love, how to show our gratitude to you, and how to just truly allow our lights to shine through this message. We pray in your name. Amen. Awesome. So I hope that you all are doing really well. Um, we are going to have our testimony time. So at this time, if there's anything that God has done in your life, if he woke you up, if he did something probably with a family member or a friend, I want you to pause the video and I want you to share what that thing is. All right. So for me, um, I had the opportunity to participate last week in a friend's um, ordination ceremony. That is something that happens when you are answering your call to ministry. She's a pastor, she's a preacher, and that is something that uh, we do. So it's similar to like a graduation for you. I'm not sure if you've attended a graduation, but once you complete your grade levels and you complete your assignments, you have this huge ce celebration, and that's what I was able to go to uh, just last week. So as we prepare for today's lesson, I want you to do me a favor. Um, this is gonna be a bit hands-on, so I want you to grab a few sheets of paper. It doesn't have to be color. It can be white paper, it can be red, it can be black, it can be blue. Whatever you have around the house, um, that can help you write some things down. And then you can grab uh, a device, a pen, a marker, maybe even a crayon, anything that you can use to write. And today's lesson is going to be called A Wall of Gratitude. A Wall of Gratitude. So if you look behind me here, I'm actually at our church right now, and this is a wall, and it has just different notes here, as you can see. And it's really, really cool. It's really cool because just if you look at the whole wall, I'm gonna just pan the, the video. Um, it has a lot of a lot of notes on there. And so I want to teach you all today how to create your own wall of gratitude. If God has been good to you, raise your hand. Amen. If if you are just grateful for something in your life, if you are able to share a testimony, I want you to know that you can add that thing to your wall of gratitude. So I pulled a few notes from the wall of gratitude and um, this is just uh, a gratitude that, that someone else wrote. It said, blessed is he who forgives his enemies and is loyal to his friends for he shall be loved. So this, this uh, message here was reminding us of the power of forgiveness. And I'm not sure if you've forgiven maybe a friend who hurt you, uh, maybe someone who wasn't the nicest to you. I'm not sure if you had the opportunity to forgive, but it is saying it is a blessing to forgive. It is a blessing to really um you know, show that, that we can renew our hearts and minds. And so this was one of the things that, that they wrote. What is something that you will write down? What is something that you are grateful for? What I want you all to do is I want you all to understand the importance of having your own wall wherever you are at home. That is a reminder of just how good God has been in your life. Um, you will be able to use these, this wall when you're having a bad day, when you feel angry, when you want to get close to God, when you want to just share your joys and excitement in life, pretty much you can use this wall anytime, any day, 
for any moment, for any feeling, and that makes me so excited. So with your paper and your pen, um, whether you are um, old enough to navigate the Bible on your own or if you have someone there with you, what I want you to do is I want you to find three scriptures that you absolutely love. If you want to do this later, that is totally fine, but I'm going to read three scriptures and just kind of give you an example of what it would look like. And so for, for me, I wanted to find scriptures on thankfulness. I wanted to find scriptures on gratitude. And so the first one that I have comes from Psalm uh, chapter 9, verse 1. So it's the ninth number of Psalm. And it says, I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. So this one right here is just talking about thankfulness and just admiring the wonderful deeds that God has done. Deeds like, you know, allowing us to have sunlight and allowing us to have shelter and allowing us to have food on our table. So this is something that I was grateful for, I was thankful for, and it can be found in the what number of Psalm? Yes, the ninth number. So this is one. My second scripture uh, comes from Colossians chapter 4 verse 2 and it reads, Devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. I chose this scripture because I I am constantly reminded of the power of prayer. If you know that prayer is powerful, say amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So this is just reminding me of the power of prayer and how I have to be thankful that I can talk to our God, our Lord, our Savior, anytime, any day, any place. Can you talk to God while you're in the grocery store? Yes or no? Yes. Can you talk to God when you're in school? Yes. Can you talk to God when you're walking down the street? Yes. Can you pray with God in your home? Yes. Can you pray with God when you're playing with your friends outside? Yes. And for that, I wanted to put that on my gratitude wall because I'm so grateful for prayer. What are you grateful for? Even if you don't have scriptures that you want to write down, maybe you have a moment that you're grateful for. You're grateful for having school supplies. You're grateful for your family and your friends. You're grateful for life. You're grateful for... Um, you know, just the joy of the Lord to be in your heart. And so that is also something that you can put on your gratitude wall. So I have one more scripture that I want to leave with you. And it comes from 1 Thessalonians uh, chapter 5, verse 16 through 18. And it reads, rejoice always. Pray continually. This is another one on prayer. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for your life in Christ Jesus. Once again, this is reminding me of the importance of prayer, the importance of giving thanks to God, no matter the circumstances. So even in COVID, I'm praising God. Even when I have to do a lot of things now online, I'm still praising God. And so I'm grateful that God is with me in all the circumstances of life. God is with you as you're doing online learning. God is with you as you are in the month of September or whatever month you're viewing this in. God is with you when you sleep at night. God is with you when you wake up in the morning. God is with you when you're playing your games. God is with you when you're reading your books or you're doing your, your creative activities. And so that is what I'm grateful for. So with your sheets of paper, and your pen, remember to write down either scriptures that you're grateful for or things in your life. And what you have to do, and I'm just going to take this one down to demonstrate for you, but um, this one here is like a little clippy. And so you can just clip it on the wall, boop, and that can be your gratitude wall. Or you can do like this. You can maybe tape it to a wall. Maybe you have a stack of them together and you have them somewhere maybe in a notebook or under your pillow or under your mattress or on a table. Wherever it is, um, it, it will be sacred. And so I just want you all to be reminded that you can be creative with Christ 
and you can be creative in your gratitude. And so um, I hope and pray that you have fun creating this activity and just be reminded that when days get tough and when you just are not in the mood, just remember that you have a wall and you have scriptures and you have memories that you can go back to that will give you energy and excitement to finish your day. Amen. So do we have any prayer requests? Are we praying for anything or anyone today? If so, I ask that you join me in prayer as we lift up those persons or those situations. Let us pray. God, we thank you uh, for those who are watching God. I pray that you guide them as they build their gratitude wall. God, there's so much that we can be thankful and grateful for God. Lord God, give them scriptures that they can write down and learn and memorize, God. Give them memories of their life, God, that they can be reminded that you are with them. Be with their friends, be with anyone that they are praying for and that is on their prayer list. And may you get the honor and glory out of their lives. Amen. Awesome. So I hope and pray that you have fun building your gratitude wall. Um, I hope that you can really, really find some really cool scriptures and think of some really cool memories that you are so grateful for in your own personal life. As always, feel free to reach out to me. I cannot wait to hear your testimonies and just hear what's going on in your life. And until then, may you continue to be blessed. May you have an awesome school year and know that I love you. Bye-bye.